Hello, my name is Lindsay Green and I will be doing my speech, the informative speech about possums. So imagine you're on your way back home from school and you see a mother and her baby possums. You can clearly tell something was wrong with them, so you pull over and get out of your car and walk over to look at them. You are able to make out that the mother is dead along with all the babies but one. Would you save it, nourish it, and help this baby girl? Because I sure would. So, so if you didn't know, Possums have been around since ancient times, walking around with the dinosaurs. Stated by the ESF, which is the Environmental Science of Forestry, possums have ranged from southeastern Canada, the eastern U.S., and parts of Mexico and Central America. First, I would like to talk about on a, po a possum's food and their diet, how possums communicate, misinterpretations of possums, and finally, some interesting facts most people don't know about them. Now, I'll explain a, a possum's food source and their diet and habits. The common opossum has a huge food template ranging from grubs and insects to anything meat and fruits. According to ESF, the opossum is an opportunistic omnivore scavenging the flesh of dead animals, hunting small animals, and gleaning fruits and seeds. The most common food source possums eat include worms, blackberries, mice, overripe fruit, garbage, and if accessible to dog or cat food. Most possums find food by eating open vegetation, garbage cans, trees, and stumps. Now I will be talking about the way that opossums communicate. A possum can, communicates in four different ways, chemical, vocal, visual, and tactical, tactical signals. According to ESF, in aggressive context, the possum hisses, growls, screeches, and makes clicking sounds. Now I'm gonna show you a video of a mother talking to her baby possums, just to like show, just to tell her, tell her babies where she's at. And then a possums when threatened, possums will arch their back, show their teeth, and let out a horrible smell to have their predators back away. Another form of communica communication is when a, a possum plays dead, which everyone knows. According to City Wildlife, the possum's body becomes limp, its front feet form tight balls, and lips are drawn back, and drool runs from its mouth. When playing dead, a possum can be out for a couple of minutes or several hours at a time. This helps the predator be skittish of the possum and lose interest. Now I'll be talking about the misinterpretations of possums. Possums are known to be ugly, smelly, and dirty animals that get into your trash or eat your livestock. Although the smelly part may be true, opossums just get a bad rap. Our possums are just gentle animals that would rather play dead or back off than to fight, according to City Wildlife. Opossums actually are very good groomers. By grooming themselves every day, opossums actually help the great app. Our possums are actually great allies against Lyme disease by killing most ticks. Along with helping Lyme disease, possums also are helping to cure snake bites. Opossums eat snakes, sometimes poisonous, which has made them develop a resistance to their venom. Finally, I will be talking about just some fun facts you probably didn't know about the common opossum. So opossums can't choose when they play dead. According to the website Mental Floss, possums have no control over when they play dead or for how long they do it. The comatose-like state is an involuntary reaction triggered by stress. Believe it or not, opossums have a really good memory. They're able to remember where, they're, where they found a good meal, which is better than dogs and cats. Their tail can actually work as a fifth arm. They're able to help, the arm is able to help with, with building nests, carrying twigs, and grass. However, it's a myth that they actually sleep upside down on them. Um, their tail can only hold their weight for just a short amount of time, so there's no way they could sleep all night. Now, let me recap for you. You should know by now, you should know by now some facts about the common possum. I first talked about the food they eat, then I talked about their communication skills, misinterpretations of the common possum, and finally some interesting facts. So the next time you see a possum, hopefully your opinions, opinions about them will change. And if your opinions change, I hope you would care and look after it like I did. And now I'm just going to show you some pictures that I have with my possum. Her name is Frida.
these are just some pictures of her. She's really cute. 